At first, I was getting calls from UConn. I wasn't taking it serious because it's my second year playing football. I didn't think I was going to get a full ride. And more to my dream school, it was like caught me by surprise. And I was just shocked when they, Coach Miranda gave me, called me down to his office in ADP. So he looked like a kid in the candy shop. He was more excited than I was. I was still in shock. He told me, he calls me down and tells me, what are you going to tell them? So I was like, what are you talking about? He says, at UConn, are you going to commit? And then, I, I didn't know what to tell him. I was shocked. It changed my life tremendously. Before this happened, I was looking at sports. I was like, okay, I'm not getting anywhere in life. I'm a six, seven kid. I'm a barely good at basketball. And the team playing this sport, trying to get something out of it, it gave me hope at the end of the day that now I'm gonna get a free education. My parents don't have to pay for my education. So that's, that's a huge weight taken off their shoulders. Good decision on his part to come to New London as a junior and, and uh, for the football coaches to encourage him to come out and play football. It's, uh, it's a very good story and it's just interesting that uh, things like that can happen for, uh, you know, for Brian and, and for young people just to come here and, and participate in football because uh, he wasn't uh, offered that at Grasso Tech. New London has a bad image. Parents think that New London is just bad, bad school, so they don't send their kids there. That's when my, the problems with my parents. They thought that since New London was a bad school, they thought I was gonna become bad. But I think that you become bad if you want to. If you have your mindset on a goal and you wanna achieve it, then you achieve it. You don't let anybody else bring you down. You don't let the environment change your outcome.